How is it going everybody? My name is Wes Davies and welcome back to an incredibly special video. I am here at the Wu Sento Reservoir in Tainan County and in this video I'm going to be talking about some of the incredible green energy initiatives being utilized by the Taiwanese government in order to better make use of the incredible land that we have here in Taiwan. So before I get to this absolutely breathtaking place, let's just jump back to yesterday where I will show you a very, very unique and special school in Kaohsiung. So here we are at the Bagua Elementary School in Renwu in Kaohsiung City. And this is probably one of the most unique structures I've seen in Taiwan so far. It is actually a covered sports area. And it is covered not by a roof, not by a ceiling, but by solar panels. So this is not only an educational resource for the students, but it actually helps out the school a lot. And at the same time, it creates renewable energy for Taiwan. And what do you think about the solar panels on the roof here? It's very good because when it rains, we can play basketball here and it also makes green energy for Taiwan. Before, we can just have some sports like we play badminton or volleyball in the gym. Mm -hmm. But or they can have some race on the sports field. But now we can have more opportunity to play basketball or play dodgeball here because it's a nice place. The best reason we, we uh, build this like, facility is like we want to cool down uh, the temperature when the students are having their PE class. Mm -hmm. And the best part of it is the green energy there, the solar, uh, the solar panel as you can see. So I, I guess this is a very good place for the students and for the teachers. As the teacher just mentioned, the students can come over to this section of the solar panel sports facility and they can get all kinds of education about the green energy initiatives run by the Taiwan government. For example, they can learn about the wind power, hydroelectric dams, solar, uh, electricity from corn and ethanol, as well as the geothermal power plants. The more I think about the setup that they have here with what they're calling a green roof or the solar panel roof, is that it actually has so many benefits. So how this works is the school has actually rented out the space above this sports facility to a company who invested in the solar panels and then they sell that power to Thai Power. So the way I see it, this is a win-win situation. Number one, the school gets to make extra income that they can put right back into the school services and education here. Number two, of course, it's great for the environment. It's zero emissions and the local surrounding area doesn't suffer even though they're creating electricity right here at this school. And number three, it's great for the kids because they can come out here and have PE class and be active even on days where they normally wouldn't, like hot days or rainy days. I just absolutely love what they're doing here. I think it's such a great idea and I would love to see this idea implemented in other schools all around Taiwan. Hello. Uh, hello. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Thank you for inviting me to your school. I love what you're doing here. Thank you. <laughs> I was wondering, can you introduce your school and this facility? Uh-huh. Uh, uh, the principal of Bagua Elementary School let me know that since they finished production of their solar sports area, which he called the wind and rain playground, they've been generating over 10 times the amount of electricity that the school requires, with the rest being sold to Taiwan's power grid. This not only raises money for the school, but also gives the students a unique first-hand opportunity to learn more about sustainable green energy production. All right, so here we are in Tainan County on our next stop on our green energy tour of Taiwan. And this is a very special place. This is the Wu Sento Water Reservoir. And this place is not only special because it is one of the largest reservoirs in Taiwan, but they also have a hydroelectric power dam here. So we are actually going to go right down there and hop on one of these solar panel boats and take a little tour of the lake. Let's check it out. So today is a super, super hot day down here in southern Taiwan. I'm really looking forward to hopping out on that open water, cooling down, and testing out these beautiful solar-powered boats. So 
So we are here inside this boat, getting a respite from the hot, hot weather outside. And one of the amazing things that I just learned is all the fans in here and even the air conditioning unit and the boat itself, it's all powered by the solar panels on top of the boat. So, you know, sometimes we feel guilty using so much electricity and energy in our apartments, cooling the place down. In here, I can just enjoy the nice, beautiful, cool air, completely guilt-free. It's all from green energy. We have a very, very friendly tour guide here who's telling us all the interesting facts about this area. And I just learned that the Japanese started construction of this reservoir almost exactly 100 years ago in 1920. And what they did is they prohibited the building of any buildings or factories anywhere near this area because they wanted to protect the water and maintain the natural qualities of this region. So not only can we come here to appreciate the green energy aspects of the reservoir, but as you can see, it is such a beautiful place. In fact, some of the older generation Taiwanese movies, they used to come right here to film those romantic love scenes. And I just really, really love this place. It has a very peaceful, natural vibe. All right, they've let us specially come up here on this roof because I wanted to actually take a look at these amazing solar panels that are actually powering, as I said, the entire systems of the boat. And they also mentioned that there's an island over there that looks exactly like Taiwan from the air. So I'm just gonna send the drone up and take a look. And now we're just gonna finish up our boat ride and they'll take us to the next section of this facility and they'll teach us a little bit about how they use this incredible reservoir to create hydroelectric power, green energy for this area of Taiwan. So this is Mr. Chung, really nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And Mr. Chung is about to show me inside the Wu Santo water power plant. Here we are, I apologize if you cannot hear me, this is a very, very loud operation. This is actually the deepest part of this hydroelectric dam. And one of the most fascinating things to me is, it is creating a ton of electricity here, and it's all done by the natural gradation of the land. So the water comes in from the reservoir, and it comes down this slope. It actually slopes down 24 meters. And using all of that energy from the water and the gravity, it comes in here and spins the turbine, which in turn creates electricity. So there is zero emissions, zero wasted energy, and the best part about it all is all this water that they're using right now to generate this power is eventually flooded back out into the irrigation systems, which will be used by the farmers and cities and towns of Jai County and Tainan County. So this is a very, very efficient, zero waste, totally green energy production system here. So they've actually let me right into the main control center of this hydroelectric power plant, where everything is monitored, temperature, megawatts per second, all the water that's coming in and out of this place. Well, very nice to meet you today. Nice to meet you. Thank you for showing me around this uh, amazing place. You're welcome. As we all know, fossil fuel energy is untenable, terrible for our environment, and will eventually be exhausted. So now, more than ever, we need to put as many resources as possible into green living and especially into renewable electricity production. From what I've seen over these past two days, I can really see how much effort the Taiwanese government is making to push Taiwan toward the sustainable and green energy future.